Well, hello, Shoreline. It's the start of a new week. And this is your devotion for Monday, April 20th. And we're actually into the 70s of the book of Psalms now, Psalm 71. Listen to God's word and notice just how the psalmist understands that God is the one who protects, who watches over, who is a place of a, of a solid foundation. Listen to these words. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. For you have been my hope, sovereign Lord. I love those words, that declaration. You have been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. Watch the span of the awareness of, of God's presence. You've been my confidence since my youth. From birth, I've relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. I become a sign to many. You are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. This little portion of Psalm 71 says a lot, but there's three words that should jump out at us and capture our hearts and capture our minds. Here's the first word, Savior. The psalmist says, God, you are my Savior, the one who saves me from whatever I'm facing. Second word, rock. God, you are my rock, my solid foundation. In the storms, in the quicksands of life, God, you're the rock that I stand on. And then the third word, hope. The psalmist declares, you are my hope. In a difficult time, I've been able to look and say, I've got hope in something, I hope in God. And the beautiful thing about hoping in God is that hope never lets you down and that hope never goes away. But when you listen to these three words, I know who comes to my mind, listen to these three words, Savior, Rock, and Hope. The one who comes to my mind is Jesus Christ. Now this psalm is written long before Jesus walked on this earth, but it's looking at God Almighty. And we know that Jesus Christ is Emmanuel, God with us. So in Psalm 71, I think we can, we can really hear this cry and understand that this God who came and walked among us, Jesus Christ, he is our savior, he is our rock, he is our hope. And that's my prayer for you today. So in just a moment, Donna, our communication director, will share some things with you, give you some updates on what's happening in the life of Shoreline Church, but let me pray for you. Uh, Lord Jesus, thank you that you are near us, that you love us. May we understand that you are the savior, the one who came to this world to wash away our sins. May, may we understand that you are the rock, that you are the only solid foundation that we can build our lives on. So Lord, let us stand on you and know that we'll stand strong. And Jesus, thank you that you are our hope, that no matter what we're facing right now, our hope is in you, Jesus, and you never let us down. You're always present. So Jesus, bless us as we walk into this new week. Lead us and guide us and let us just experience you, our Savior, our rock, and our hope. We pray this in your name. Amen. Thanks again for joining us today for this Shoreline Church update. As Pastor Kevin mentioned before his message yesterday, the leaders at Shoreline are in the process of thinking through what the church looks like to both our Shoreline congregation and the larger community during this time. As you already know, we've moved our services online. Many are attending online Bible studies or even a women's book club. Yesterday, we also sent you a 20 question survey that your answers will help to guide us as we plan for the future. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to fill this out. You'll find the link in today's email or in an email you received yesterday specifically for this purpose. Please let us know if you have any trouble accessing this survey. Also, I wanna make you aware that on our website under the resources tab, you'll find links to the spiritual growth self-assessment and an online spiritual gifts assessment. After you've taken these assessments, you have the opportunity of either remaining anonymous, or if you're interested in meeting with one of our pastors or a leader at Shoreline, we ask that you leave us your contact information and we'll follow up with you about ways to grow or use these gifts. None of this has to be put on hold during this time. As a matter of fact, it's a great time to assess your areas of strength or areas of needed growth. In addition to these email updates on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we've also increased our social media engagement. You've asked, and we started posting our Sunday worship set list as a, and also a Wednesday worship opportunity with our worship director, Cole Lovelace. We hope that you'll engage with us there. We love to hear from you and know how you're doing. 
That's it from me today. As always, we invite you to email us your prayer requests at prayer at shoreline.church. It's really our honor to be able to pray for you. See you soon.